Seven Days Rebellion and Song, and this song, Wrap the Green Flag Around Me, was sung by the volunteers in the GPO in 1916. It was an older song, new words were put to it, and it was brought into from America. And Kevin O'Reilly fought in the GPO with his sons. It was um, a source of great pride to Sam Riley, who was one of the last survivors of the uh, Easter Rebellion. He lived in New York and I had many, many times uh, talked to him about the events and about the, the source of the songs that were sung by the volunteers during that week. And he told me that this song was sung with pride uh, by many of the men who knew the words. They, it gave them inspiration. And I thought that I would include it because um, in many ways, Wrap the Green Flag Around Me was a great anthem. My father loved the song and he always encouraged me to sing it. And in fact, he pestered us to record it way back in the 1960s and we eventually did and I sang the song on one of our uh, early LPs. It's, um, it's a song that, you know, um, when Sam was explaining to me this, the meaning of the songs, he said when Padre Pierce asked him uh, to check and go back to the GPO that nobody had been left behind because the place was in a very poor state and it was boring and he had to search the GPO to make sure there was nobody in, uh, left in the building. And he said while he was doing that he was singing this song. And I always thought that that was appropriate. And he said also, he gave the, he asked uh, Sean McDermott to make a white flag, to make a white flag and give it to Elizabeth Farrell. And um, uh, Elizabeth Farrell, of course, that brought the white flag down uh, Moore Street uh, for the surrender. And, you know, it's worth remembering that why did Padraig Pierce, you know, surrender? Um, he surrendered because life and the human life meant a great deal to him and he didn't want to see any more uh, uh, casualties in the city. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's two ways of looking at military uh, and the actions. And, you know, the, the difference with Padraig Pierce is that he cared about the men that he, and women of a city and his volunteers. The indifference of English authority, indeed, in the war that was, uh, that was raging in Europe was, they sent young men from Ireland into unwinnable, indeed, military situations to their death. You know, because the lives and the lives of those men meant little to the aristocracy of the times. The, it, it was victory at all costs. Human casualties were nothing, because these were replaceable. And the sad thing is that the, the, the English authority was allowed to send a generation of young Irish people, indeed, into situations in Europe in the, that war, which is called the Great War, and which I believe was the most unnecessary war in history. So today, when at Abbeyfield, when we remember those young men who died in the cause of Irish freedom, we also should remember, indeed, that all of the lives, indeed, that died uh, were valuable and meant something to their families, their sweethearts, their mothers, and uh, today, uh, this song is a reminder, indeed, of the, the human uh, care that our patriots had for human life. And they called a halt. They had made a statement. And that statement, indeed, resonated around the world. It cost them their lives, but also they reminded the world there was a length and there was a depth that they had to go, that, that, they, that they would go but the preservation of human life was also important to them. And that will always stand to the, the, the character of Patrick Pierce and of the men and women that fought with him in battle. Wrap the green flag around me.